what's up? Oh, it's so great to see your beautiful faces, even though I'm not really seeing them. <laughs> so I am back in Washington, the state Washington, not Washington, D.C., for my other year of second year of college. What, what? So yeah, I am back, and I'm just really excited just to go back. I know, it's crazy. I'm like the one person who's excited to go back to college and do homework and finals, and but actually I'm really looking forward to it. So, I've decided to make a couple of videos throughout this week of giving you guys some advice for college life. Because um, I've been seeing that a lot of my friends back home who were a year younger than me um, are getting ready to head off to college. And some already are left or leaving. So, yeah. So, this first video is going to, I'm just going to give you advice and tips of when you guys are going out of town or out of state to another state for college. So yeah. So um, as you know, I was in Texas for throughout my life and I got accepted to a college here in Washington. It's a private university and actually our school year starts the first week of September unlike a lot of other colleges they start like probably next week on the 25th or 27th. Anyway, so anyway, so I got accepted and my dad and I actually took a road trip up here and stuff. So I had a little bit more room to bring a lot of my junk stuff, so, but, um, for those of you who are traveling by plane, you guys have more a little challenging part of what to pack and stuff. Uh, the one thing is have a trusty suitcase, really, a trusty suitcase with a lot of space and stuff. Um, you can have one of those ginormous suitcases, but, um, don't forget about the weight limit and depending on what airlines you are, uh, I don't know if you're most airlines you have to charge a bag and if on the southwest that's free for two bags so I highly recommend going southwest because two bags are free come on <laughs> and I really would recommend getting some awesome space bags space bags or when you put your clothes or stuffed animals or honestly anything uh, in it and then you can zip it up from the top and you can roll out the air. Well, what I like to do is do a belly flop on them and make sure all the air is out. Oh my god, it saves a lot more room in your suitcase and stuff. Uh, the only bad thing is, number one, your clothes will get wrinkly. We'll get a lot of wrinkles on them. And um, it'll make, it'll, yes, it'll leave a lot of space, but it gives you more space to put in more stuff, which makes your suitcase heavier. So just keep an eye out for that. And, but, like I said, those face bags will keep your clothes wrinkly, so if you have, like, nice dresses or for guys, nice shirts or tucks or whatever, uh, you could put that in a separate bag and just not put the air out, make sure it's just nice and protected and just put, the, just put it on top of the other clothes, that way it doesn't get so wrinkly. Uh, I mean, you can't really, like, skip the fact that it might get wrinkly, so, just saying. So yeah, that's my best advice for people who are flying by plane is just like pack your favorite clothes and maybe your like your baby stuff. Just remember and maybe just like memory stuff like pictures or clothing. I don't know stuffed animals and such. So yeah, and also don't forget you have also allowed a carry on so you can bring more junk. So like your laptop or tablet or Kindle Fire or any electronic, cool electronic stuff. If you really want to pay extra money, then that's all up to you to bring your TV or Xbox or PlayStation or Wii. That is all up to you. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, for those of you who are driving by car, traveling by car to your college, um, you guys have a lot more advantage because you guys have a lot more room. Um, like I said, my dad and I took a road trip here, and I had like about four big boxes and plus my suitcase and other mini boxes of other stuff so like so what I did was use the space bags a lot and I packed a lot of my clothes and stuff my baby stuff like, like my blanket and stuff animals and then in the mini boxes like all the toiletries and feminine stuff and makeup and then um, shoes and such and I also packed a lot of winter coats because where I'm living we have winter and I never really experienced that, that in Texas so yeah I had to pack a couple of coats and stuff but yeah just try not to you know make sure your car is not overflowing with stuff like a, like a hoarder's house because yeah you can do that but 
more of a hazard to drive. I mean, you want to get this in one piece, just saying. So yeah. And also, don't forget, you guys, if this goes for both who are traveling by plane or by car. If you forgot something, do not panic. Let's say you forgot a brush or shampoo or something or shoes. You can always get them in your next destination or at the state you're going to. I mean, if unless it was like something really personal that you just can't find anywhere, then yeah, call someone back home and let them mail that to you. But like clothes and undies and socks, let's say you just forgot. I forgot my other five pair of undies. Do not panic. You can go and stop by Walmart or Walgreens and buy that. <laughs> so just saying, there's stores you can get pretty much anything. So, so that's my advice. Um, I know a lot of you are kind of sad to leave your family and stuff, but hey, I went through it. Yes, I cried saying goodbye to my family and friends, but it's not really a goodbye goodbye. You're just saying, see you later. Because you're going to still keep communication with them and such through Facebook and Skype or FaceTime and phone and text and pen pals and stuff. So it's not really a goodbye. So anyway, I hope this gave some of you guys some advice and such. So uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video. And yeah, and there will be more videos coming up of me giving you advice like for textbooks for college, um, roommate situations, um, getting to know the area where you're, you're practically your new living place is, house, I don't know, and such. So, and also professors. You gotta love professors at colleges. So yeah, that's all I have to say to you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful summer enjoying the last bit of it and those who are leaving the college. Make sure you enjoy every last minute of it and make sure you're packing smart and such. So yeah, that's all I really have to say. So I will see you guys later. Till next.